welcome back to my African flower tutorials. In this video I'm going to show you how to make a half flower. Just a reminder that I am using UK terms throughout the tutorial. First of all make a slip knot and pop it on your hook. Make four chains and this will count as one treble and one chain. Next Make two trebles into the first chain that you made. This becomes the center of your flower. So that's the first treble and the second treble. Chain one and make two more trebles into your center. So that's one and two. One chain and two more trebles into that centre. One and two. One chain and one more treble into the centre. Cut your yarn and fasten off. And that's the first part of your half flower. We're now going to work on row two. So I'm going to change colour to the colour that I'm using for my petals. Make a slip knot and pop it on your hook. Now we actually need to turn our work at this point. So if you turn your row one over and we're going to be working into the first stitch here. So pop your hook in and then work a double crochet and two chains. Now this counts as your first treble and one chain. Next make two trebles into the first chain space. Then move along to the next chain space and make two more trebles into that one. one chain and two more trebles into the same chain space. So we move along to the next chain space and repeat it again. So it's two trebles into the chain space. One chain and two more trebles into the same chain space. Move around, now we're almost at the end of the row here. So we need to work our two, first two trebles into the gap between the next, or the pair of trebles and then the last stitch. So it's in there, you see that? So two trebles into there. So that would have been our first chain space that we created. It can be a little bit difficult to see because that's where we, we made our initial first four chains. So you've done your two trebles, chain one. You might need to just pull these stitches around a bit so that you can expose the chain and you're gonna work the very last treble into the top of the, the chain that you made right at the beginning. You might have to wiggle your hook for a little bit to get it through. That's the last treble there. So I'll just put that down so you can see. So you now start to see our, our half flower taking shape. Now we'll now move on to row three, but before we do that, we'll just make our turning chain, which is three chains in this case. One, two, three, and turn our work. Next work, three more trebles into the first chain space. So that's one, two, three. Move around to the next chain space and we're gonna form our next petal by making seven trebles. That's one, two, three, all into that same chain space. 
four, five, six, seven, Move around to the next chain space and repeat that. Seven trebles into that chain space. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven. Move round to our last chain space that it's created at the beginning here of what was row two and work three trebles. And then your last treble, again, move those stitches over that way a little bit to expose it into the top of the first stitch that was made on row two. At this point, you can snip your yarn and fasten off. So there, you can see your half flower really taking shape there. You've got your petals all formed. We're now going to work row four. I'm going to change my yarn colour again now to my joining colour. We don't turn the work at this point. We're going to just keep working from the right side of the flower. So make a slip knot and pop it on your hook. So we're going to work in the top of the turning chain from row three. So in this one here, and you're going to work a double crochet into that one. Next, work a double crochet in the next three stitches. That's one, two, three. We're then going to make one of those elongated trebles down into the gap in row three. So through there, so this one here, that's a treble into that one and then work a double crochet into each of the next seven stitches. That's five, six, and seven. And then another one of those elongated trebles down into that gap. And then one double crochet into each of the next seven stitches. An elongated treble into that gap. And then one double crochet into each of the next four stitches. That's two, three, four. So I'll just pop that down and show you so you can see it's really starting to take effect now. We need to now fasten off before we move on to row five as we need to continue working along the right side of the flower. So I'm just going to do that now. Slip my yarn and fasten off. So again, working from the right side, make a slip knot and pop it onto your hook. And then we're going to put a double crochet and one chain into the first stitch. Now, if you're joining as you go, this is the point where you would begin to join your half flower onto your blanket edge. 
you can find tutorials for two different joining methods on my channel but for the purposes of this video I'm going to show you the complete half flower so that you can see how it is constructed in full. So we're next going to make a treble crochet into each of the next one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stitches. Had to count them then. number five, six, and seven. And we're going to now work our corner into the next stitch. And our corner, if you remember from the full African flower, is one treble, one chain, one treble. And then once again, work one treble into each of the next seven stitches. Number two, number three, number four, it's five, six, seven. And we've reached the next corner. So that's one treble one chain and another treble into the same corner stitch and then one treble into each of the next seven stitches so that's one two three four five six, seven, and then in our last stitch, we finish off with one treble. Snip the yarn and fasten off. And there you go, you've got your, your half African flower. Don't worry if it seems a little bit wobbly along that edge. Once you've got them all joined, and you start doing your, your border or your edging, you'll find that that'll all straighten out. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and if you want to see more, please visit my channel. Don't forget to subscribe though. To keep up to date with what I'm making, follow Little Dove Crochet on Facebook and Instagram. Until next time, bye.